hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel arky nomad and this today's tutorial i'm gonna teach you how to make a curb on the root side as you can see in this image uh, through using the sweep method and i'll create a new profile for that so let's get started so as you can see here currently i'm one of the project i'm doing with my clients so this one i just took for example to show you how to make it on this uh, side of this road so for that we will create a new profile it's like uh, we need to create a new profile family to load it on the swipe profile so we can create the beautiful curb on all above this side and we will it will be not be parametric because i'm you can use it as per your requirement but i will show you how to make it but for this project i'm not going to use a parametric uh, you can add its uh, its uh, material you can change its color still so let's go and uh, we are going to choose a new family for that so, so for that i will go to file i will go to the create a new family and uh, okay i don't need to save it so i will select a profile uh, might be here profile um, profile template uh, okay this one so I'll just select this one okay so as you can see we are in our reference level so we are just going to create the profile which you want to uh, make that uh, swap and we'll load in that so i will just create a reference plane and the shortcut key is rp so i'll just put here uh, maybe 200 millimeter oh, sorry i'll just i'll just put here and then i'll adjust later on and i'll create its uh, width also so i'll just put uh, rp for the width and uh, accordingly uh, depends on which face you want because my as you can see on uh, on that road i want it should be on uh, this side means on a left side so you can also flip also you can change its angle later on it has option for that so that's why i'm uh, using that on the uh, left side so it will be easy for me to flip it so accordingly you you can select so i'll just created my reference plane here i'll make it short and now i will just uh i'll just uh, put the dimension di shortcut key here and this will be the width of that and for the feasibility i'll just check and change its uh, unit shortcut key is un and uh, i'll just make it two millimeters because i'm working on millimeter so okay so this one i'll set to 200 and this one sorry this width is, should be um, maybe 150 okay um, might it, i think it's too much i think i should change it to um, maybe 120 will be good I think so yeah 120 I'll take 120 I'll just trim it sorry I'll just drag it and just make it like that and we already assign uh, let me just assign once again and the DI here here okay so you can also uh, make it parametric by assigning the uh th this from this method the label i mean the create parameter you can create its parameter also but right now i'm not using it let me just create uh, its profile first so i'll just go to create and now i'll create its line i will click here i'll go here 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 just here and i'll just make a little bit curve and it, it is not predefined so i'm just using by my own so I'm just taking it by just assumption. So I'll make it an, a kind of arc here. Yeah, this one be good. I'll trim it. Okay, and now I can put its its uh, the radius. Okay, it's fifty. 
yeah that's fine I'll just push a little bit down here so I can see okay so you can assign it's like you can just uh, select this dimension and click here to make it parametric and uh, for this one I'll just um, say R because it's a radius and this one will be the width of it so I'll just go select this dimension and I'll just then again click create parameters I'll uh, just hit W and I will for this one I'll create its height so I'll just put height I'm not changing its uh, height uh, in the project so that's why I'm uh, just using it as uh, as just for my convenience for my project so okay so I'll just uh, put here like that and now I will just uh, first save this uh, profile it's a family so I will just switch to my desktop and I'll just okay I'll just make this one because I already was working on this one so I'll just rename uh, reuse this one so I'll just put o override it so to open oh sorry I need to save it so I'll just um, put this one and uh, I will just make it new okay I'll just need one and I'll save it on the desktop so now we can just go to our 3d view now here we want to create that swap so for that uh, we need to go to architecture and I will create uh, I will click here on the components then I'll select the model in place then I'll just select the wall and I will just hit OK OK I'll just oops I'll just put the shortcut oh, CBS will be working uh, and then I will just go to the sweep and then I'll pick the path and I will just uh, select this the top layer of the road and it's I mean it's it's edge in the corner and I'll select again this one and then rotate this one this one ignore the warning this one then here so here you can see now I can select the profile it's showing the little dot the profile will be loaded here so I'll just hit escape and click OK then here in this option it will uh, it will be already predefined loaded but uh, as I saved in uh, some other destination so I need to load profile I just select this one the load profile and I will go to my desktop and as you can see we created our new the curb new one I'll open and then I will go here on the profile and then select this new one this one is old actually I was uh, working on the project so I just created the new one for you guys to how to uh, how it works I want to show you so I'll select this new one as you can see here now it's appearing and here there is an option you can see here flipping so you can just click it you can flip it you can push like angle and you can just turn around like that so according to you so okay so now I'll just created my profile and I loaded my profile here so I'll just hit yes okay green and then as you can see the profile is loaded and it's pretty nice and it's uh, pretty decent for this project because uh, it depends on your own profile which you want to make you can create by your own self and you can give the material also you can see on the uh, the property option you can just select and I'll select something okay do some wall board or maybe I remade because it uh, it might be like a little bit white paint something kind of a gray or you can select something gray maybe concrete machinery um, okay let me select something precast I just want to see its uh, preview so so you can select according to you whichever you wanted so I'll just hit OK now you can see the material is also changeable you can change its material and you can just select OK. So now you can see here we created our curb for this uh, road on the side. I'll just uh, do the same thing here also. 
I will just go to the architecture component and model in place and I'll just select the walls I'll just put wall 2 it's okay for it this this just for this video I'm just making an example and then I will go to sweep I will pick the path just I selected last time I'll just select this time this until here okay this one good I'll hit OK I'll select the same profile here now you need to check this one okay it's correct it's correct in the position and you can flip around as I said and then hit OK so now you can see here where the path, this profile is created for uh, this project and of course you can change its material again whichever you want maybe something uh, same thing okay so this is much for this tutorial thank you so much for watching hit like if you like this tutorial if you want to learn more please subscribe to my channel bye bye thank you